Tony's mod time, it's mod time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. Mod time! All right, here we go. Start over here. He does have the voice of gold. He really does. All right, so I'm gonna tease you a little bit. First, we've got this truck. This is Whiskey Sierra put this out. Got a tease, keeps you here. They did all, They didn't update on these. These were out before, but he kind of didn't update. And the reason I put this on is because everyone's been looking for a feed truck. And now this one is a feed truck. What's up, Red Man? How you doing, dude? Yeah, I was informed yesterday that we didn't fling anything during mod time, so I apparently have to make that up to you guys. Yeah, but everyone's been looking for the speed truck, especially since what's up, Death Pledge, since 4B got his. The sounds, but well, we'll try it. Before we got his feed truck, at least there's an option now because the one option out there that I keep having to send to people is not that great. This one is at least decent. I mean, it's got some, some options. Here's that airs. All right, I'll check it. It does have a million and one color options. There you go for Oki. Only bad thing you can't change the feed box color. Never ending shifting. So I don't, I, I wish you could change the, the red feed box, but. Inside, fairly basic, which again, I don't care. I don't know, that's a, that's a meter for your feed box. Well, this come this this is a feed truck. I mean, this is how it comes, Joe. There's, you know, it should it should work. I mean, all I got is the size, right? Just the size. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This has been updated. I think check it out, Joe. Cause this is this is why I got it. He updated it. Yeah, it's got to be a conflict with something, Launchfly, because that's pretty freaking clean, especially for the stuff I download. Had to repartner in a new agreement. I don't care about you unless you're making the money. No, no, no. You're fine. It's just, I, I have a really hard time hitting the algorithm. I don't know. It's stuck at 892 subs for like over two weeks now. With all the trucks. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's not far off though, Schultz. It's like 90. 8% on that one. But yeah, this is a feed truck now. So for those of you who are wanting a feed truck, it is a Ford, so you got to use a Ford, but there is another option out there. It's got the tanker. It's got the manure spreader. It does have two tipper options. Feed your animals. Uh, it's Whiskey Sierra. Let me see if I can get the uh, the itch page. I believe it was on the itch. Yeah, that one. Copy. Yeah, his link is in the Discord. All the most of the itch pages that I go to are. Thank you, Joe. Keep forgetting are in uh, the modders itch section of my Discord. You can search through there. That is directly to that one. Save you a little bit of time, PJ. But yeah, go to go to my Discord. If you're not in the Discord, exclamation Discord. There's the modder section. Joe's done a great job of adding stuff to that. We thank Joe for that. 
but uh yeah this one's got the uh, the grain body so a nice little ford pack if you want like the trucks like this got the flatbed it's not auto load uh the flatbed is not auto load but other than that it's got the flatbed it's got a box truck it's got a reefer your AR frames and then uh, log frame, dump frame. You just got to pick. It's supposed to work with BC Bueller's pack. Uh, I, I put Universal Auto on there and it didn't work for me. It didn't work for me, Loungefly. But it's supposed to work with BC Bueller's grain box pack that one of the mod hubs. So you got even more choices for beds for it. And his pack is pretty neat. Yeah, I tried it. it. I couldn't get it to work, but it might. Like, see, I have universal auto load on this, and it didn't work. No, I mean, if it works, I just, I couldn't get it to work. That doesn't mean anything. And to be honest, I didn't spend a lot of time on it. I just kind of checked it. But. So, yeah, Whiskey Sierra, it's a good pack if you like that sort of truck. Uh, all right, we got this Caterpillar. I don't know why I like this one. I just did. I don't, I don't know why. Okay. Now, now I'm questioning whether or why I liked it. That is. Somebody, somebody messed up some of the numbers there. I don't know what a LaRue kit is, but we're going to get it. What's up, Richard? Yeah, broken decals. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's a broken decal. I I just I think I liked it because it was less wiggly than the others. If you see, like it's it's got the wheel loader articulated, but it's not that bad. Right? Like it's almost not articulated. And it's still got a very good turn radius. That's why I downloaded it. I didn't know about the decals, obviously, until just now. But obviously, going to have some issues. Going to have a lot of issues, apparently. All right. I think there's our first candidate to fling for Eric. Since obviously, it has some issues. Yeah, you guys can look at that here. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be nice to you even here. You don't have to look at it anymore. There you go. Errors be gone. Flyer. It's like a missile. Good, uh, good, good straight line to it. I got rid of it. Relax. Lining. All right. So this came out. I sent this to Lee the other day. He's been looking for a gooseneck cattle trailer. It does only hold cows. So I would like this to be a little bit better to hold pigs in, in the sheepies. But looks wise, the thing is gorgeous. My grandpa had one of these for horses. A little bit different, obviously, for horses than cattle, but 
one almost exactly like this. I think we have a truck. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, it just came out. It was a work in progress, and then it just got released. I'll have to find that one. I don't have a quick link to it. Yeah, I know. We were trying to find lead lead one for a while, and there was some options. He wasn't quite happy with any of them. I, I let me. I'll have to look. It just came out fairly recently. All right, that's not going to be obviously very good on this truck, but you get the idea, right? If I can find this link. There you go. Oh, it's LJR. Again, probably in the Discord section, but there you go. But it just looks gorgeous. If you put it on a, like an actual truck, it would be even better. Don't see anything with open cover. Oh, that's that one. So that goes up and down. Yeah, Lazy Ease. Lazy Ease had some errors with his. And a few issues with the gates doing weird things. Like there were there were a couple visual issues with lazy ease. Twenty seven cattle. Twenty seven cattle. I don't know. Again, I just like the look of it. That it reminded me of my grandpa's. Somewhat. Obviously, his was taller. But yeah, it'd be cool if it held pigs and sheep. But, uh, you know, for a cattle trailer, it's pretty spot on. Yeah, I, think, I don't think there was errors on that one. Yeah, no errors on that one. Uh, making it hold 27 is not a problem. I can make whichever one you have hold 27. It's not going to look right. But I can make it hold 2700. Uh oh, we launched that one. Where'd it go? Oh, okay. Reverse launch. You gotta start doing reverse launches. I think that's the new thing. No, the the other animals isn't isn't super difficult. Once you got the animal or the cows in there, not that hard. Oh wow! Good gracious. Almost caught it. No, you you got a cat carrier. What more do you want, Richard? That thing flew. That was that was amazing. All right, I think that's. I think that's all the, the, the fun other stuff. Obviously, we're getting to this thing. Now, we have to thank first off before we get to this. Oh, wow. We got to thank Lead Dog for, for making this happen. He was the driving force behind this. But uh, Keith Bleeker, 
Keith Bleeker made this happen. It is the return of the Tribine Jet. It is back. Ooh, ah, thank you, Eric. So, apparently Tribine is orange. We've got grain tank options of crazy 120,000. We've got 3750, which I think is standard. So it, the standard version. Yeah, I think I got that one, Shul. It's the one you just sent me. I think. 3750 is, is the actual tank size. So 650 horsepower and 37,000 liters as an actual tank. You have the 650 option, an 820, so if you want to go a little bit crazy. Wheel options, you just have weights on the back there. That's about it. You have your long pipe and your Tony, I mean your average pipe. I would get the long one because you will see you're going to need it. You do have colors. It's, it is orange, but you can... Uh, I don't know what that one changes. I haven't found out what that color changes. I'll be honest. I don't know what that design feature is that changes color. I don't know what that is on the back either, but that's a thing. That's a chicken, a rooster on something. That's an average pipe, Mr. Two. Since I'm average, you got your main color options which obviously changes that. Rim color. So you can uh, customize it a tad if you'd like. That's what it changed on the back. The design color changed that on the back. I don't see anything changing on that. We'll get there. We'll get there, Richard. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know what that changes. It doesn't really matter. It does have a hitch on the back. Let's lease that. Now, Lead Dog was testing it last week. And uh, we tried some different things on it. We're going to get a header trailer just to just to see if it hooks up. All right, we'll just get uh, we'll just get that one. Doesn't matter. But uh, I wanted to see, like, if you have a giant combine like this, 800 horsepower, like, what could you do with it? So let's try, you know, in Tony style, the biggest thing we can find, and I think the biggest header we have is the new HD 62F, eight or 19 meters. I think this is the biggest header out there. Uh, it comes with a corn header. So it comes with this one. I think it's this. Yeah, this one, which is uh, 18 meters. Yes, I agree. Comes with that one. But uh, I want to try it on this big one. This is the, the biggest one available, so. Sing it, girl. Yeah, I know. Good. Let's see if it hooks up to this header trailer first. And Keith did a pretty good job on this. I did play around a little bit with it last night. So there you go. You can pull your header. I don't know if that that retriever trailer works with this big a header. I don't know. But that would be a good option.
No, not on that trailer. I just want to see if it hooked up. Fever works great with it. All right, there you go. So the other thing about this is you can see we're 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 a fixed, right? We're solid at the at the pivot here, right? You can drive it this way, or that's all wheel steering. You have turn steering. So if you want to get a little crazy with it, do a little wiggle butt. What's up, Kayla? Again, I don't know if I'm saying Kayla or I should be saying Ka Kailash. You want to let me know. So you have the different steering here. Doesn't look like we have any errors whatsoever. Those are still the cat stuff. I don't see any errors on it. Yeah, I just want to make sure. So, yeah. Any, any different steering you want. We unfold it. Again, now you can see why you want the long pipe on there. It does sound different than like other harvesters. If we could turn off the music here for a second. What's up, Loveweed? So it does sound a little different. We're gonna be able to get this thing out of the yard. DJ just left. I know. I just want to hear the sounds. DJ is a patient and uh, thoughtful woman. She will allow me to turn off the music for a second. Giant pimple in yours. Those suck. Those hurt. Oh, he's not allowed to leave. Red and black? Well, the tribine I've been told is orange, so... But it does haul at 40 miles an hour. Let's see if it works. They wheat. Ready to harvest. We want to buy this because we don't own it. Get in. Let's get in. There we go. Yeah, I'm not doing red and black for you, Slick. That's strike two, Slick. Look at the size. Like, it's just... It's I don't know how many years on this earth I got left. I'm gonna get real weird with it. Yeah, we're getting weird with it. It's just gigantic. Or she got the rooster on the spaghetti. Or the, the hay. Sorry. Looks like spaghetti. Yes, so... We have an able straw swath. And it goes out both sides, right? A lot of straw. It's a big swath, even for coming out both sides. Now, I've been told it does do the straw swath different sides. I, I don't know how to do it yet. I got to figure that part out. You're welcome. I've been told it does that, but I got to figure out how to do it. It 
does. It really does. All right. So select next tool now. Oh, that's something he's working on. Yeah. Okay. So he's working on getting it quaffing to one side or the other. There you go. Lead dog is the, the man that knows more about this than I do. That's why he's the mod father and I am Fredo. But for now, it's going to come out both sides. But you can see it's a crap ton of straw. And we're just harvesting massive amounts in one pass. Now you put the pipe out, you will see it is just barely long enough for that thing. Just barely. The turn steering, you got to kind of fiddle with to get it to lock back on, I think. There we go. So you can do it the turn steering. You can do it this way. Obviously, your turn radius this way, as you can see, is a bit less. As would be normal. But you want to you want to massively harvest a bunch of big giant fields. This is your, this is your man right here. Not a lot going on inside the cab. I don't know if that's the real cab of a tribine or not. I'm assuming it is. Now, unfortunately, I do have to mention this is private. Seems like too much straw. It might be. It does seem like an awful lot of straw. This is private because it's been converted from 19. It's not ready to be uploaded or distributed or anything like that. I mean, it is the articulated one. It should be better. But I haven't used the articulated in a long time. Not since UMRV. I think we used it. But yeah, I think you're getting double swaths. It does it does make some sense. But again, Keith is still working on it along with like 700 other projects that he works on. But you know, again, biggest harvester in the game, biggest header in the game. We can we can accurately say lead has the longest pipe at farm sim right now i think uh a little disturbing but I don't know. The thing is freaking amazing, though. And it is an actual thing. Sorry, Big Joe. I know. It is. It does say 18 plus, so... Yes, we measured it. Twice. I had to be sure. The thing is just fantastic. I hope he gets it. I hope he gets it so it's available to be released as well. So I know when I post this video, people are going to be like, link, link, link. And I'm going to have to say no, but. Don't worry, Big Joe. If I, if, if, if I, if I showed my pipe, no one would be able to see it anyway. I don't have that good a camera. I think it's just awesome. Look at this 
spitting out that junk. Yeah, this thing is fantastic. And like I said, lead lead dog's been pining for this thing for eight hey, since nine or twenty two came out. And again, huge credit to Keith for getting it going. Uh, I don't know, Loungefly. This is the try by Noki. I don't know if they're going third party. I don't know if he even plans on doing either. That'd be a question for lead and Keith. I don't know. Obviously, you got to get permissions regardless. I'm guessing that's a key thing, maybe? I don't know. But it took a lot of effort for Keith to get this, like, even up to snuff and have it to uh, work without errors. So he put a lot of work into it already. And this thing is just gigantic. 18 meters. I think could be wrong, but I think there's a yeah, I think I think this is on the mod hub. Yeah, Keith worked really hard on it. The prototype versus what Keith says working on the real one soon to come. So what's the difference in the in the different one the, between the prototype and the Yeah, I think the Capella is an action one. So this is this is this is the real thing. As you can see, it's really well done. That was in bushel capacity. And there's a good look under the skirts. There's a production model now. Okay. So this is probably the production model, I guess. I don't know. A little bit different on the, uh, like up here. So this part is different. You can see the curves on this one. Like there's a little bit different styling on the side here and the cab's a little bit different on the production model. This is a little bit different underneath. No, I haven't, Loungefly. I haven't. Wonder if it's if it's Googleable. That's something. Look at the size of that thing. The Torum 750. That thing had 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 thing was made of wood. Look, it's got it's got four by fours and six by sixes on it. It's like one of them MTZ tractors. Largest combine in Ukraine. Mm. There's the next set. Still sad we didn't get the next set. Yeah, the next set 
that's that's like the unicorn several people have been working on the next set and uh i'll i'll believe it when i see it at this point i know dom had it pretty pretty advanced and then he hurt his arm and i haven't seen dom around lately to be honest i don't know where dom's been or joe knows but i haven't seen dom but dom was working on it But yeah, I'll believe the next set when I get to actually drive it. It's just weird and cool. Give it to Christian O'Reilly. Ah. Hanging on by a thread. That's not good. Well, that is your tribine chat. Thing is freaking amazing. Again, Keith did such a good job. But of course, Keith would not mind. Keith would actually insist that we fling it. I wish I could give it out, Joe. I really do. But like I said, it is still private at this point. Yeah, a few people have been working on it, I think. Touching up different things, but... Yeah, Lead, Lead has used it on stream. I, I was the same way. I said, I'm, I want... Lead's been so wanting this combine for the longest time. Like, I was... I didn't even ask for it. Normally, if I saw something like this, I'd be like, Hey, can I get a copy? I'd do a YouTube video or something on it. But I, I, I think Lead should get to use this for a while. Since he was kind of the, the reason it's it's in-game. But uh, they gave permission for me to show it on mod time and Lead sent this to me, so. Alright, later lounge flying. Oh, that's better than I would have hoped. Look at that thing. Yeah, that one, that was pretty good. I'll give that one a second go. I gotta put on turn steering though. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll fling differently with turn steering. The turn steering didn't go off. There we go. Imagine like six of these running your big giant fields. Get some work done. Exactly, Eric. Yeah, Keith. Keith likes his stuff. I like his tractor. He wanted me to fling it. I don't know Cape Cod. I don't know if it'll be public ever. That's a question for the people who've been working on it. Oh, there you go. I don't think the turn steering makes a difference. Oh, nailed it. 
Break. And there you go, chat. The tribine returns. Very cool. Well, I'll fling your version too, Joe. The awesome tribine. So there you go. That's my time for today. Since Giants is taking the day off. Well, send him a message. What's up, Casey? How are you, sir? All right, let's hear big guy sing. Tony's my time. It's my time with Tony. Me, I'm Tony, and these are the mods. My time. 